But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Girl Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different uh, and as you can probably tell here we are in Space Engineers. Here I am, geezer. Um, and I just wanted to show you something that I've been working on recently. Um, I've always been fascinated by the idea of um, ships in space. I'm not sure why uh, but I've got a little bit of a penchant for them. Uh, so, I've been working on this particular design, um, it was originally intended for a particular purpose, uh, but I've since designed something else that hopefully you're going to be seeing in the near future uh, for that purpose. Um, this ship doesn't have a name, but I wanted to show you a few of the aspects of the build. Now, uh, there are a couple of mods that I've used in order to make this build a little bit more effective. Um, one of the things that I've used is, you can probably see them here, there, it's armoured ramps. I'm going to be uh, putting all of these uh, mods in the description. Uh, now, the armoured mods gives you the opportunity to make things a little bit more slanted uh, than perhaps some of the stock buttons would be, and a little bit more kind of interesting. It gives you the opportunity to move things around better. And the second mod that we have is these cannons here. Um, I think these are large ship cannons, I believe it's called. Uh, but I will also include a link in the description. Uh, they're pretty awesome things. Now you can see here that I've got two turrets on the top of this ship. And they are actually independently created. Uh, and that's the reason that I actually wanted to show you everything on this video. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is... I probably should have set up a little target, shouldn't I, really? Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy the ship itself, and we're going to move it over here. And this is going to allow us to see some other aspects of the build. So, we'll place it down there. Probably going to be a bit of lag while I do that. Okay, great. And we'll turn this off. Now, these turrets themselves, they are independent large vessels. You can see they've got... Uh, ooh, there's the uh, small large ship antenna as well. That's another mod that we've got. And they're actually contained within the housing of these turrets, and that's because they're independent items. I've got a couple of them here to show you what they look like. Now here, what we did is we actually built the basis of the turret itself, and you can see I've actually uh, I've plumbed it all in so it would be available for survival. Uh, we have a remote control block in it, the small large ship antennae, uh, and a gyroscope. Uh, that's pretty much all you need, uh, as well as a camera, of course, so you can see what you're doing. Uh, in order to put them onto my ship, we had to make some housings for it. And we'll have a look at the copy over here uh, to show you what the housings looked like. Uh, and I will make one of these in this video, uh, or something akin to the housing. Let's just, I'm going to give this a bump, move it upwards a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Bump. That made a bumpy, bumpy sound. Right, you can see this housing is moving independently. Uh, which is something that you absolutely need. Now this is based on three rotors. Uh, is that going to stop moving by itself? Let's hope so. Right, this is based on three rotors. Uh, and the way that you actually do this is you take a, uh, a large ship rotor, take the top off it, and then you can create a small ship rotor um, and place it on and attach. You can then build your little housing here um, and create two more rotors for the corners there. And the landing gear at the back of the cannon that we just saw, it slaps onto this area here. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, there you have it. So what we'll do is we'll copy this fellow over here and we'll try and pop him on. Here he is, this is the one without its uh, housing. Now the housing is mainly made from uh, the armoured ramps that we talked about. Here we go, right here we go. This could be a little bit finicky to do, but I'll do my best. Right, we can see it's facing around that way. So let's turn this around. Ah! I'm probably a little bit closer than I want it to be, but that's okay. Oop, maybe a little too close, actually. So let's um, build it, and then I'm going to move further away and copy it again. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's take a look. Now, because we're copying this item in, it's going to be a little bit difficult to move around. And uh, as you can probably tell here, I, I'm not that well versed in 
what buttons I want to press. Now we need to get it extremely close. We could, you could use a little tug to do this if you chose to. Because a tug would probably be extremely useful to you. It needs to move up a little. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I will build a little tug. But that's roughly the position that it would end up in. So you can see that everything does just about fit. Uh, it's a pretty snug fit, and uh, what we actually ended up doing in order to build these turrets was... I'm not actually going to get that in, so let's let's escape. Should we build a tug? No, I don't think that's going to be necessary. We can always dismantle one of these existing turrets. Um, you can place the large landing gear here and then build your turret forward off it. <clears throat> Which is pretty good stuff. Uh, we'll dismantle one of these turrets after we've made use of one. Okay. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go into our ship and we're going to make use of one of these turrets. So, I think I've got some gravity here. Yep, fantastic. Here we are in the main area of our ship, and the bridge is upstairs, up there. I haven't really done too much internally with this ship. It was more of an external build that I was going for, because um, I wanted to fill in the internal areas a little bit later on. Here we are. Now you can see this is a very um, open ship. Uh, it wouldn't stand up very well in a battle, I don't think. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at the view you've got on the bridge. Um, fantastic stuff. So if we sit in our pilot seat, and we press K, what we need to do is we need to find... Oh, no, what we do... We have several large ships here. So let's uh, choose this one. Uh, we can see... Yeah, we've got two cannons and two rocket launchers. Fantastic. Let's see if this is the one that we want. We'll go remote control and click control. It does appear to be the one we want. You can see at the bottom we have the camera. So let's click one to go to the camera view. And here is our cannon. Fantastic stuff. And there we have it. That is our weapon working. Pretty cool stuff. Now, if we were to press... Oh. So let's get out of our camera view. Oh, we can't get out of the camera view, that's interesting. There we go. So we're going to go back into it, find that ship again. I think it was uh, this one that we chose. Find the remote control and click control. And you should... <laughs> I'm actually controlling the one above and to the right now. You can see because of the gyroscope it's able to move independently. <laughs> but, but let's find the right one. Could it be this one? We're not allowed to control that. <laughs> we'll get there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, eh, remote control and control. Let's see what that one is. Oh, that's the one up and to the right. So it's got to be this one. <laughs> now we're controlling that one over there. I should really name these. <laughs> I should really name these. <clears throat> ah, there we go. We're now controlling our cannon. So you can see that you control it. You can control it from this view, and you can see where you're likely to be aiming. There it is. Or you can, of course, go into your camera view. And you can see where you're aiming from there. So let's uh, just take a quick pot shot at the ship. Where do we want to hit it? I suppose we go for that. Nice. Now, we'll take a look. You can see that there is a lot of wiggle there. So that's something that you've got to be aware of. We tried putting six cannons on one of these, and uh, it was a little too much. Should we go and uh, survey the damage? But I do think when using some of the mods for furniture, etc., uh, you could really flesh out the ship really nicely, and it could be very, very interesting. Uh, we'll have a little tour around the intern inside of the ship a little bit. So here we go. Let's take a look up here, and... Oh, it's gone straight through. Two layers. Look at that. It's gone through one layer, and then straight through and out the other side of the ship. That's quite an impressive cannon, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to get you one of those. Well, I'm sorry, test ship. So I think what we're going to do is we'll have a quick tour around the inside of this ship. Um, and once we finish doing that, we will uh, look at perhaps building one of these from scratch. 
or something like one of these from scratch. So let's just land down here. This is uh, a missile only version of the turret. So we'll just take a look. And you can see, pretty similar concept. You've got your camera and your remote control block, the small antenna inside, and then we've got that lined only with missile launchers. And we put a little spotlight in because we thought it would look cool. Boop. And we're going to go into the ship. As I say, entirely not fleshed out on the inside. Oh. So we've got a bit of missing gravity here. Now, this room could be any number of things. It could be crew quarters, could be a medic's deck, etc. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go up here. Uh, this is a long, grand staircase, and that actually brings us back into the bridge section. You could actually create staircases going up in a, a higgledy-piggledy fashion or in a, a square fashion if you didn't want to use these lift shafts. But the lift shaft will take you back up to the top, and this is where you come up into the viewing pool, and then the bridge area up top. So there we are. Okay, back down we go. Ah! Right. And back down some more. Go down this long staircase. Yeah, you could probably get five or six rooms, or, or perhaps even more. You could technically turn this into two separate decks if you wanted, uh, by just kind of, whoop, where is it, you know, placing something across there. Um, and that could be an entirely separate deck, deck to this one if you chose. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our jetpack on and we're going to fly down here a little bit. We have got another into, oh, I'm stuck. Uh, we've got another internal little deck here and this is almost a viewing deck. Uh, you can see down into the reactor core here and you've got plenty of space to do whatever you want in this particular area. Very nice. And then we're going to continue downwards again. Where, where am I going? Oh, here's the thing. Uh, so down we go. And we are now in the, the bowels of the ship. This is kind of the control area of the ship. You can see there are eight great reactors um, going in place. We've got four here and four on the other side. They're, they power the entire ship. And then we've got a multitude of, of gyroscopes on each side. We do have fully plumbed in um, large cargo containers as well uh, and we'll take a look outside in a little while uh, and you'll see that these are actually totally fully plumbed in and, it's, and this ship would be ready for survival if we chose for it to be which is uh, I, I think that's an important thing about the ship although you would have to load your m large cannons manually the large cannons themselves are separate ships and they're also ready for survival Let's continue taking a look at what we're taking a look at. Now you can see here we've got this observation bay looking down into the um, the fighter bay. So hopefully we'll have a look at that in a moment as soon as I remember how to get up there. Oh yeah, we've got to go up those stairs, look. Deary me. If I had a memory I'd be dangerous. Up we come. Getting a little bit of frame lag. This is a quite a large ship, so I'm down at about kind of 15 to 20 frames a second. Now the idea behind this is uh, when you see a ship come in, you take a look at it, you identify it, you make sure it's a friendly vessel, and then using this button here, you can raise the drawbridge. Uh, and that will allow you into the main fighter bay. Now that that's been raised, and it gets totally hidden as well, which is fantastic, we like that. Boop, and then it stops at the correct angle, and you can allow fighters in. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it back down, and we'll see if we can sprint down into the correct room. Oh. I failed. I have failed. Not the end of the world, though. And we'll see, after we've gone through here, where that fighter bay lies. Uh, this is another large section of the ship that you can do kind of whatever you want with, uh, which is really, really good. Another very, very large open space. Okay, now, I said we'd go and see the fighter bay. We'll come and have a look at this in a moment, but let's go all the way down further into the bowels of the ship and you'll see this is the fighter bay itself. Here we are. So we've got our little alliance fighter here and you can see that directly in front of us, I'm probably gonna, uh, yep there we go, there is a little bit of a lack of gravity in certain areas. This is the fighter bay door. So this fighter would need to come into the next room, get checked out and then it would be able to come fully into the fighter bay. And there's room for four or five of these fighters in there. This is the uh this is designed by Captain Shack. Um it's called the Alliance Fighter. So a nice little thing. This is uh, again you can probably see there. It's plumbed up and ready for survival. 
uh, which is something that we kind of like we we like to keep in mind when we're creating new designs because um, <clears throat> survival is actually a far more interesting world if you will uh, or, or a far more interesting game type than just the creative mode creative's great for working out what designs you might want in the future but survival is where it's at okay and into the next room this is the forward bay now you can see we've got our little mining ship here this is again designed by captain shack pretty cool stuff uh, so the idea behind this is you get into the front um, you drive around and when you find a suitable area to mine you can get into the back and you can use this little mining pod here in order to kind of uh, strip mine a surface as you can see totally plumbed up ready for survival fantastic so we have this which is on we can see the piston down there so this will raise up to the top and we also have some opening and closing bay doors so I think what we're going to do is we're going to open the hangar bay doors there they go fantastic stuff and then we're going to raise the ship up with it and hopefully we'll get on yeah we managed and we thought this was a really cool little design aspect to this and there we go we have arrived and we can now take off in our ship um, if you want to see where this particular area is this is right at the front of the ship look at that fantastic stuff and of course you can do the same in reverse so let's, um, oh, I have to jump over here. Maybe that's a bit of a design flaw there that I could look at. So once again, we would look at the same things, making sure that we've got the right ones. Hangar bay elevator, reverse, and the top hangar door. So we'll click this, it starts going down, and then we'll close our hangar bay doors. Now we... And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have our front hangar bay, which is totally protected from the outside elements. And it's got a really just, it's got a really nice lift system. This is kind of like a, um, an aircraft carrier system. It brings the fighters up. And that's basically the ship as is at the moment. We, we'll um, just kind of go back through the ship and see what kind of space that you have. There is a great deal of space in this ship. So if you're looking for something to expand on, please do. Uh, I think I'm going to put this up on the workshop for you guys. So you can have a play with, that, play with it and show me what you found with regards to it. As I say, it is totally ready for survival. So if you want to put this in a survival scenario, it's going to work correctly. Here we go. What we got here? Let's go back up here. Hoop. Hoop. <laughs> nice. And we're going to go back up to the bridge. Should we go to the bridge? In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. Once again, we're probably going to lose a um, bit of gravity somewhere around here. There it is. For about a second. And we'll go back to our other ship. Now, what I wanted to do with it, with the other ship was I actually wanted to uh, show you how I created these cannons. Um, so we've got a little bit of space right here. So I figure we are going to do it here. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Let's just move myself up. And there are certain items that I'll need. You'll see uh, rotors and rotor parts here. So the first thing that we're going to need is a rotor. So number eight. We'll put that right in the middle there. And we need to take the top part off this. So let's just go up. And the top part is gone. So we've just got the base of the rotor. Now what we need to do is we need a new small ship. We're just going to uh, pop it right there. And we're going to put a rotor on it as well. Uh, conversely, you could just do this with a rotor part, I believe. Um, but for some reason, I've always done it with a rotor. Uh, so let's do that. And then we're going to delete these unnecessary portions. So we just have the rotor part. And I'm going to press Control-C to... Oh, am I? Control-C. Is my control button not working? Oh, there we go. Once I've done that, control C. All right, we've got our little part now. So what we need now need to do is we now need to kind of plumb it into the rest of this large rotor. So we'll pop it right in the middle there. Make sure we're not moving when we get steady. Okay, it's there. But in order to attach it, let's just quickly pop down a bridge. Now, ensuring that you don't want to move the ship. We press K, find your new rotor, 
uh, which I believe is going to be this one in this case, and you're going to have the attach option. So press attach and you'll see that that's now moved into position. We're going to get out of here now. Uh, this is going to be the, the quick and dirty version for us, ladies and gentlemen. And there we have it. We now have the very base of our rotor. We can actually delete this thing if we want to. There we go. Right, so we've got the very base of our rotor. That is now actually going to start working for us. And we're gonna, we need to extend this outwards. Uh, do bear in mind that even if your ship is mirrored, this particular section won't be. I don't know, something like that much uh, will be hopefully roughly the amount that we need. Oh, just a bit of brick there. That's not a problem. Okay, that looks equidistant from each side. So let's start going up. So I reckon if we come up about five, that might just be enough for us. Maybe, maybe a little more. Now, of course, we can take a look at this further by taking a look at the, the existing ones, but I just wanted to build a fresh one for you in order for you to see exactly how you would go about doing this. So I've actually got this seven higher on both ends. There we have it. That is going to be the very basis of our cannon. And now what we need to do is we need to create the possibility of this connecting. Okay, so we've got two of these blocks here. Fantastic. But what we need to do is we need to delete the top section section of this part. There we go. And we'll continue with our build. So let's just pop that on there. And you would then from here kind of bring this back. And come sideways. Something like that much. This might not actually be big enough uh, for our cannon. Let's see if that was the right amount. That was not the right amount. So this much. And get that to the right point. Okay, so you're asking me, all right, there's no rotor there. What we need to do is we need to press 9 to go to our rotor part. Pop our rotor part in there. Now, as you remember what we did a minute ago, we need to attach that rotor part. So let's go back to our bridge's main view. Press K, find the new rotor, It'll be around here somewhere. That, that'll be the new rotor down there, will it? Perhaps not. There it is, the new rotor 2, and click Attach. So we've now attached it. And everything should be relatively stable. Okay, so we actually have our the very basis to our cannon now. In order to attach the large landing gear to it, we're going to need a little bit more space. So we're going to build one up and one down, I think. And that should do the job for us. Maybe two up and one down. Yeah, two up and one down. <laughs> Watching me actually fail at putting things in place is probably making you think, how the hell did this guy manage to build this? But there we are. Okay, so we've got the back platform now for our cannon. Let's see if we can fit the landing gear on. So we need to click for a new large ship and let's just uh, turn that this way. It doesn't quite fit as you can see but that's not a problem. What we're actually going to do is we're going to turn this one linearly and 90 degrees to it. Is that going to work? Let's just come around this way. There we go, that is actually a solid and firm contact, so we'll pop him in and he's automatically linked onto the back of it. It should be sideways as it is in our cannons over there, which we'll take another look at shortly. Um, but that's what you've got to do, and then you can then go on and kind of build the bits that you need. Uh, there are several items that you are going to need for this section. You need a reactor, you need a gyroscope. So let's pop a gyroscope on top. Let's pop a reactor underneath. Now remember, in order to uh, get these to work, in fact not underneath, no that would be uh, that would be unfortunate. We'll pop it here. Alright, you've got those two very basic items which are going to make your ship go. And from there onwards uh, you will need your camera and your remote control block. So let's pop our remote, let's pop our camera on. Uh, we're going to pop it on, probably onto the remote control block, that's something I like to do. So with your remote control block, make sure that it is facing in the right direction. There it is. Now, you need to make sure when you place it, the green segment, the large green segment, is facing in the direction that your ship, in inverted commas, is going to go. That's fantastic. And now let's put our camera on. 
Make sure, making sure it's the right way up, of course, otherwise you're going to be a bit confused about what's happening. And there you go, the very basis of your cannon is now there. Uh, should we put, pop a couple of guns on it? So let's pop some of these big guns on. Uh, this won't be plumbed in for survival, this particular weapon. I just wanted to show you a very simplistic form of it. And there we have it. That is actually your turret pretty much entirely ready. Okay, so how are we going to make this go? We're going to come in here. Oh no, we need an antennae. I've forgotten. We have the small large ship antenna here as well. So we need to place this on. Let's see what kind of position we can get that. I think I'd like to put it on the back of this block, ideally. And do experiment with this, of course. Uh, try and make it as compact as humanly possible in order for you to build your shell around your cannon. So there we go. We now actually have all the things that we need. Which is fantastic. So, what do we need to do? Let's go into our ship, press K, and find our new rotors. Because until now, they have been on. The block has been on. We need to click off on all these rotors. There it is. Toggle the block off. And off. Now, the reason that we're actually toggling all those blocks off is because it won't move freely otherwise. So you can see here, it's now moving freely. You, uh, When you want to move the ship any distance, you toggle the blocks back on. Okay, so what's next? We press K, and we find our new large ship. Could it be this one? Uh, that's our rocket pod. Ooh. I'm actually... Oh, I've missed a step. I'm, in, I'm very embarrassed. So, we've got all of our stuff here. And what we need to do now is we actually need to transfer the ownership of the object to ourselves in order for it to work correctly. Now, I, there, there are a number of ways that I could do this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat and pop a bridge on it. So, let's go in here, take a look at all the items, shift-click them all, transfer ownership to me, and I like to share with my faction. That's something that we do. Okay. There it is. That should be belonging to me. Uh, when something belongs to you, it says uh, RGD. Uh, small antenna. And it kind of, for some reason, it turns blue. I think that means it belongs to me. Um, okay. So now we're going to get into our main large ship. Um, we'll press K. And we're going to find that new large antenna. Here it is, large ship uh, 5208. We can see it's got all the things that we need. And we're going to go to remote control. And we're going to control the item. And whoa, see how fast that moves? Let's see what we can do about that. Let's take a look at our gyroscope and we're gonna move its power down to about 10%, I think. So judging by the size that it is, and that's gonna move a little bit more fluidly and as you would expect from a cannon. There it is. Let's press G, find the camera, and we're gonna to go toggle view, there it is. And weapons and tools will pop from here. Click number one, and you now are seeing from the view of oh, of your turret, and smashing everything. This this could probably go down to about five percent actually, and of course you will see that yep, you uh, will be able to aim because you're gonna have those red dots. Let's take a shot, and hopefully this won't fly apart. There we go. It's stayed in one piece. Fantastic stuff. So what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think that would be something that you'd want to look at in future for some of your designs? Or have you already made similar designs? Please do let me know in the comments below. I would love to see your designs. God, look at that thing bouncing around. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, it's actually significantly more stable uh, when the landing gear is put on flat. Um, having it up, down like this, I think it creates extra stresses uh, that the other ones didn't. Uh, you may have noticed that the other ones, in spite of the fact that they're larger, they don't actually have as much recoil to them. But there we go, that is my build. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. This is the first time I've ever done anything in Space Engineers, uh, video-wise. So uh, let me know if you want to see more of my designs in the future. Uh, this isn't something that I play on a daily basis, uh, but a, a friend of mine wanted me to play... Um, with them, so that's kind of the reason that I started designing a few ships and started experimenting with different things. You can also uh, use the concept that we've been looking at here for small turrets. Now you see you've got this particular ship itself, so what you could do with this particular thing is you could use exactly the same concept you've used there for the large ship right here, without the use of an antennae. 
So you would just kind of place your cannons on, you would place your remote control block and your camera, and and a uh, gyroscope turn all of this stuff down here off and you can operate it independently with no problem at all uh, which is always a nice thing so just using exactly the same concept that we used on this earlier okay so there we have it ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna delete this ship am I yeah boom there it goes and you'll see that uh, because this is a separate self-contained ship it stays where it is Got something that's flown off something here. Hey, that weren't me. It probably was me. Oh, we've got another small antenna over there. Is that something that I've booped? Let's go and have a look. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to know any more aspects of my designs or you want to see any new designs, do let me know and I will be more than happy to share them with you. For now, this is Gul Ducat, out.